Hello everybody, what is up? It is Cyborg Elf here with another video, and today I want to go over pastebin authentication systems for storing passwords and such, and why it's not a good idea. People tend to do this when they want to avoid using an SQL database, because you actually have to host the server yourself, and people are cheap. So I want to go over why this isn't a good idea for commercial applications. Maybe it's okay for testing purposes, but if you have a commercial application you don't want to do this, I've ran into a few people to do this, no shame on them, but it's just not a good idea and I want to explain why. So I've looked up an application right here that it's simple, you enter a password and it tells you if the password is correct or not. Here we can look at the code and the code instead of normally what we've done before where it's hard coded as a string into the code, the password will actually be downloaded from Pastebin. So it downloads the string from this link. And we can look at the link right here. And there's the password. And if what the user enters is equal to what is downloaded from that link, boom, they log in. But I want to show you how to reverse engineer this. So we're going to use an application called Fiddler. What Fiddler do, does is it intercepts uh, the requests and outgoing traffic so it basically monitors live traffic so load up Fiddler it is free the download link for Fiddler as well as the download link for this test app will be in the description and you may get some stuff right here it doesn't really matter we just only need to look at what is generated from the demo application so we'll open this up and we can see it goes to pastebin and then it goes to this full path right here so without even having to disassemble this application, we were able to find where it requests the password from. So we can go right here, and boom, we got the password. Put the password there, and wow, we logged in. We bypassed the authentication system by accessing the database. But that's kind of lame. I want to do more than that. So I want to show you how to actually point it to your own database. So if you turn on autoresponder right here, and we click add new rule we can type in exact so if this exact URL comes through to our computer we're gonna feed the application back a different URL so let's make our own password essentially we can call this new password and then we can hit create paste from there we'll cl click on raw and we'll copy this new link and we'll paste it in right here and then we'll hit add to queue and we can see there's a lot of stuff going on here just because I have my web browser open so we'll remove all that so it's easier to understand and we launch this again and what do we see instead of going to that old pastebin that was hard coded in right here the 8x one it goes to our own one the ECV one so if we type in what the password was which was new password we're logged in because this is the new database I hope you did enjoy this video I hope you learned not to use pastebin as a login system but this was just really something I want to do to uh, kind of share what Fiddler does what it's capable of and how it's a nice tool for reverse engineering and capturing live traffic anyways peace out